What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hamastang and today we are doing a speed ramp temperature Geekbench and a 3D mark test over here between two high and mid range phones. In the first corner over here, we have the Galaxy A52 and inside here it does come with the Snapdragon 778 and inside here it also does come with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. In the other corner over here, we have the Realme GT Master Edition and also inside here it does come with the Snapdragon 778 and it also does come with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of of storage so the first thing that we like to do over here is to check out the temperatures in the room it is about 29 degrees let's check out the phones over here 25.9 here 25.9 as well so let's boot up these two phones here first and see which one will come up on top <laughs> Both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% for this test and let's see as well with the battery how well it does over here, it does come with a 4500 million battery, whereas over here, it does come with a 4300 million of battery. Okay, so looks like both of them are very, very similar in terms of booting up. Let's check out the calendar if it's ready to go. Over here, it's all ready, whereas over here on the A52S, it does take some time. Let's check out the temperatures over here 36 degrees. And over here 36.1 so not much difference at all so as we can see here all apps have been closed before we start this test and also like i mentioned both of them have been charged up to 100 but as we can see here it has dropped down by two percent one more thing to note is that in terms of the display settings over here both of them are maxed out in terms of the brightness and also both of them are running in at 120 hertz also both of these two phones are connected to the same wi-fi network and also location is on every other form of connection is disabled on both of these to phones as we start this test so these are the apps that we are going to test out and again one two three let's go okay looking pretty close indeed okay realme gt here takes this round with the a52s just right behind it okay next up here pokemon go okay looks like the gt master is done over here with the a52s quite far behind it over in this battle okay now let's go to the next one youtube about the same next up instagram think faster here on the realme gt and then let's go on to another huge app up here which is pubg mobile Let's see which one would come out on top. Initially, it looked like the A52S was a hit, but it looks like the Realme GT is actually coming up over here. And we are done with the Realme GT. Okay, so pretty interesting over here. Okay, it does take a lot more time here with the a52s almost about uh, maybe 10 20 seconds behind okay pretty interesting let's close up all this stuff over here which does get very very annoying okay so as you can see here realme gt all ready to go over here as well not too bad Okay, let's go on to the temperature wise. Over here is at about 36.3. Over here, 36.3. Next up here, Chrome. Okay, about the same, I would say. Let's go on to Facebook. Okay, about the same as well. Let's go on to Shopee. About the same. Let's go on to YouTube Music. Okay, on the Realme GT, it is a little bit faster over here, quite a bit faster. Okay, and then let's go on to the settings. 
okay about the same in terms of another app over here Manchester United Viva Ronaldo okay about the same let's go on to Premier League looks like the Realme GT was a hit over here and then let's go on to Netflix okay seems like over here clear winner with the a52s still struggling behind over here taking a lot more time actually and pretty disappointing over here from the a52s okay let's go to the camera app okay <laughs> about the same on both phones let's go to tiktok okay about the same let's go on to twitter again about the same and then let's go on to the play store okay about the same so as we can see here i think the realme gt does perform a little bit better compared to the a52 temperature wise 36.3 over here 36.6 so a little bit hot but not much difference at all let's do a ram test right now so genshin impact over here it's still running whereas over here refresh let's go on to pokemon go both refresh over here okay let's go on to facebook this one is not too bad let's go to instagram about the same maybe a slight refresh over there twitter about the same as well and let's go on to manchester united still over here ram management much better with the samsung device whereas on the realme it does close up that apps so yes these are so yes that is it with the test over here temperature wise 36.4 over here 36.7 all right so let's move on to the next test all right, so now we're moving on to the next test over here, which is a GPU test. So both of these two phones are going to export this into 4K at 30 FPS. And let's see which one would do it faster. Okay, both phones looking pretty neck and neck. Okay, looks like the Realme GT was just slightly ahead, so not much difference at all when it comes to the GPU on both of these two phones. Okay, so next up here, we're going to do a Geekbench test, and before I do that, let's check out the temperatures. So over here, 36.9, and over here as well, should be about the same at 37 degrees. So let's just open up the app over here. Click accept and one, two, three, let's go. Just keep in mind the battery has gone down to 95%, whereas on the Realme GT it is still at 99%. So, yes, I'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results. <laughs> Okay, so we are done here with the Realme GT first to finish temperature wise 37.8 degrees a good nice single score 784 and a multi-core score over here 2007 and over here as I finish this the A52S is done as well so yes this is the score that you would get the multi-core score is quite a difference over here and also the single core score temperature wise let's check out over here 37.9 as well as you can see here yes i know a lot of guys can complain that my s20 fe always gives me very low score as you can see here although both of them do have the same chipset the scores are quite different from each other and maybe this is something to do with the software side of things to boost up those numbers or whatsoever but in terms of just performance as you can see they are both quite similar so all right let's move on to the next test Okay, so we're going to go on to the next test over here and in terms of the temperature, 36.4, 36.9, 36.7, 36.8, 36.9, 36.8, 36.9, 36.9, 36.9, 36.9, 36.9, 36.9, 36.9, 36.9, 36.9, 36.9, 36.
here at 36.5 so not much difference at all in terms of heating yes there is a bit of heating and this is where we are going to test this to the maximum absolute best over here so we're going to run this wildlife test over here do not that the battery 94 percent over here at 98 percent so all right one two three let's go and i'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results Okay, so we are done here and in terms of the temperatures 36.8 and over here 36.8 so very very similar indeed in terms of score as well not much difference to separate both of these two phones Next up here, let's test out the slingshot test So alright, one, two, three, let's go <laughs> Okay, so we are done here. So as you can see in terms of the scores, really not much to separate both of these two phones. Temperature wise, 38 degrees, whereas over here, 38.6 so yes quite a difference over here but yes in terms of performance quite similar so i think this one here does have the so-called better performance but this one definitely does have the better ram management overall so if you guys did enjoy this video and also want to see more of these type of videos do click the like and smash that subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future do also follow me on my social as well on twitter instagram facebook and also here youtube at dr hammerstack so that is it this is dr hammerstack stay safe take care and wash those hands